Hey friends, welcome to the next video. I'm solo on this one because I'm uh, in the middle of a DIY project. More of a fix-it DIY uh, because uh, something broke and I need to fix it. And uh, let, let me just show you here. This is the key fob to one of our vehicles and uh, it's seen better days and you know, there's a piece of metal here plastic the emergency key uh it, it's 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 pretty much gone uh <laughs> when it happened i was driving down the road and i felt something hit my leg and i looked down and this thing's in pieces on the floor and i've, I've somehow got it back together to the way it is right now of course i had it over here and it was all kind of put back together and i had it taped together with packing tape just so that I can use it um, until I can find a replacement. This is where the interesting part comes because I called the dealership up and I said, hey, look, I got this vehicle. I got a key fob to it uh, and it fell apart. I don't know how or why, but it's, it's in pieces now and I need a new one. And they said, we can help you out. And I was like, great. And they said, it'll be close to $500. And I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I, I figured it out that the motherboard in this thing is still good. I don't need the motherboard. I just need the plastic housing to the key fob. And they said, we don't sell plastic enclosures. We have to sell you the whole key fob, uh, which we have to program to your vehicle. And that's going to cost about $500 for the whole thing. And I was like, this is a really small Thing. Why should it cost five hundred dollars? It's not five hundred dollars worth of material in here, let alone um, you know having to justify the cost of that. So I looked for the cheaper route to fix this, and uh, I told the dealership, "Thank you very much." Of course, uh, but then I started looking online, and I found uh, a seller on an auction site. Uh, that is a third-party manufacturer of key fobs. And they sell just the cases. So I said, well, I mean, look around and I'll see if I can't match up what their picture looks like to what my key fob looks like and see if I can't find one that's as close as possible and, and see if I can make it work. So I ordered it. It came in the mail. Of course, I've thrown the packing material away, but this is uh, what I received. And at first glance, it looks a lot like like that, except for that one's in great condition, and this one, not to mention the sticky tape residue that's all over it, but it's in pieces. So I need to figure out how to get what's in there into that. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so the old key fob, the new key fob, we want to do a transplant of everything that's in here to in there. Well, everything that's needed. Um, obviously, we uh, have this piece of metal here. We don't even know if it fell off or if it, it, it comes apart uh, because when it landed on the floor of the vehicle when I was driving, it, this was completely in pieces. Um, and, and let me show you something here. Let me take the top off very carefully. Um, this actually goes into this piece right here and it has a point on one side and a little flat piece here on this side and um, from what I was able to do when I taped it back together as I noticed that on this side um, on the top it's got little a uh, little indent for the point to sit in and down here uh, it obviously has some plastic that it's supposed to go into but all of the plastic is completely shattered on this side. So again, I don't know if it fell off or if it's able to be pulled off. Um, I can tell you that it, there's no screws in this key fob and I've tried to pull this one off of this one and I can't get it. And then again, I wasn't trying to really hard because I had this thing taped together for quite some time so I could still use it. Um, but I don't need these pieces for sure because they're, they're broken. So I'm gonna set these off to the side. I do need to keep this. This is the emergency key specific to my vehicle. Uh, obviously, you don't need this piece of plastic. Um, down over here, um, let me, I'm trying to save these too. This is uh, buttons that uh, actually has the logo of the vehicle on it. So I'm going to put this off to the side because I want to try to see if I can't use it in this. Because if you notice, inside of this one, there is no logo. We'll take a look at that closer in here in a second. Um, this right here is, uh, it looks like metal. Let me slide off the table here. Um, this is the panic button. You, know, you can push it and your horn beeps. Uh, or if you're trying to find your vehicle, you can hit it. Uh, but when you drop it, it, I can't tell if it's plastic. 
uh, sounds like it's uh, uh, really light, thin aluminum. So I'm going to set that off to the side just in case I need to reuse it over there. Um, and the motherboard. I uh, want to be very careful not to touch any of the circuits on here because I don't want to short anything out. Uh, but I assume that you have to take this motherboard out from time to time if you have to replace the battery because uh, when I flipped it over, uh, when it fell out, uh, I noticed that it has one of the button batteries in it, one of the CR2032 batteries, some sort of chip down there. Uh, so I'm going to, this is the, this is the meat and the potatoes of that, that uh, key fob right here. So got to protect this. So I'm going to put that down over here and put this other broken piece off over there. All right, so into the new key fob. All right, let's get the bag open here. Again, found this on an auction site and pennies on the dollar compared to what the dealership wanted to charge me uh, for a whole new key fob uh, when the motherboard still works. Um, I'm not quite sure how to get into here again. This doesn't have any screws, but I assume that, uh, again, the sides come off. And in fact, if you can look real closely, I think they did this purposely. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but it looks like they've left a gap between the piece of metal and the plastic um, that kind of says, hey, I come off. <laughs> Um, based on what I know about this one, it looks like, um, the metal, uh, flat piece goes in first, uh, or, or the, the pin goes in first and then it kind of snaps in if that's the way it works. So, uh, this being the bottom of the key fob, I'm going to try to take the new key fob apart from the bottom. I've got a jeweler screwdriver here with a really small, uh, flat tip screwdriver on it. Uh, just something I had laying around. Uh, and I'm going to see, it, it almost fits in there and... I don't want to break it. Come on. You should. Ah. Oh, oh, what? What? Did it come out? I don't know. Did it come out? It looks like it's coming out. Ah. Uh, that's awesome. Look at that. I got the, the back of it out. Oh, no. Really? It did. It did do that. So the, the tip goes into here and then it slides in with the flat piece there. So kind of the toe and the foot. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, so now I need to get the other side off. I knew it can't be that hard to get into these things. You got to replace the battery. Um, all right, so I got this side off. All right, I need to make sure that I I don't want to force anything. Come on, go on. You can do it. You can do it. Let me set this down. You can do it. All right. Wait, there's a oh, no way. All right, so I just noticed something here at the bottom, right over here, right here. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Let me see if I can get it in there. There's an R. And this was the, if you're looking at the key fob itself, it would be on the right side. So this side should, it does, has an L. You see that? L and R. So if you're taking your key fob apart, you kind of know what side each one of them go to. Left and right. So now we have to figure out how to get into this mamma jamma right here. Uh, okay, no screws again. So it snaps together somehow. Oh boy, I hate prying open plastic because you never know if it's going to snap oh come on uh no can't get in there oh go back to this side. i can almost see no is that a gap there's a space in there but it's really small all right i'm going to try very carefully because it looks like this piece overlaps this piece i don't know if you can see that but it looks like that top piece overlaps the bottom piece so it looks like it snaps onto the bottom, so that means I can pry off the bottom or pry off the top. Let's see if I can get this in here. Come on, use my hands. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Uh, if you hear some ringing in the back, that's our little puppies over there. Hi, hey. hi, girls. All right. Uh, oh no, I don't want to break this thing. All right, let's see if I can get in here. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nothing's broken. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> oh, that was really scary because it just came off. I didn't take the key out. Somebody's calling me right now. Um, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Back to the, uh, to the repair here. Uh, this thing came apart way too easy and I thought that I had snapped some plastic, but I didn't. It all looks good. Um, but I do notice something that this has that the old one didn't have or I didn't see it. I see like a, a rubber membrane in here or a silicone membrane in here. And this one didn't have it when I took it apart. But then again, um, it, it could have 
fallen out of it when the thing shattered into pieces and was laying on the floor of the vehicle. Uh, but uh, needless to say, uh, this looks really good inside, and uh, this is the um, this is the old key uh, that came out of it, and uh, this is just a dummy key. You can see there's no um, uh, cuts into it to make it actually a functional key. So I'm going to hold on to that. Maybe it'll be useful. I, I don't know. Maybe they can, at some point in time, if I ever have to get a key recut, I can take this one and have a new key recut. I don't know. Maybe it's useful. Maybe it's not, but I'll put that into the keep pile. Um, so now we have to see if this membrane comes out. It's in a membrane! It's in a membrane! All right. It looks like it comes out. And set that off to the side because we know we're going to need that. And we have the back of the buttons and the back of the panic button. It looks a little different. Let's see here. Yeah, well, it's got the little everything there. Uh, this one's got an arrow. This one doesn't have an arrow, but that's okay. All right, so we'll keep that. There's the metal piece that I told you about that was in, let's see, this one. If you set them off like this, um, uh, like, like, here's the top. So it looks like it's part of the top. Uh, okay. There's the broken one. And I told you there was a piece of metal in here and a spring. I have no idea where that went. So that's that's somewhere on the floor or it popped out the window. I have no idea. But uh, that is what releases the, the emergency key. So hopefully these come out, uh, the back, these uh, center buttons come out just as easy as the, uh, the original buttons. So I can reuse my original ones because these, and it does come out, these don't have uh, the logo on it. But it looks like it's the same thing, and all they do is they either glue or epoxy the vehicle logo into the center. So this is probably like a universal um, key fob that fits multiple different vehicles. I, I don't know. Uh, it could be. But we're going to set that off to the side because that's a good set of buttons uh, that maybe I can reuse at some point in time. And I'm going to take my original ones, and it goes top to bottom. So that would be the top and that's the bottom. So I'm gonna flip it over here. And it should go right into place. And it did! <laughs> All right. We're, we're, we got, we got good, good movement so far. All right, I'm gonna take the silicon uh, uh, protecting cover and it does have an arrow going to the top. So I'll put that back the way I got it. And now what do we do here? Uh, the motherboard. Here's the motherboard here, and this one, let's see, is it the bottom or is it the top? Let's see. Oh, have it perfect. You hear, hear that beep? That's our puppy over there. She's playing. <laughs> Hi, Leia. Are you playing? Are you playing? Is that good stuff? Are you having fun? <laughs> All right, so that fit in here, just like that, and now I've got to somehow get this on top of that. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll flip it this way. Uh, oh, you know what I can do? Let's see here. Um, this goes this way. Does it go that way? And this goes this way. I hope I have that right. It looks like it was right. Yeah, because it looks like there's an indent here, which goes to the indent there. Does this fit into this thing anyway? So the button, okay, the battery does go on the bottom because I can see a round piece. I'm trying to get this thing back together, right? Um, you can see right there, kind of a round indent down there. And that's where the battery goes. So the battery definitely goes down here. And then take this piece, flip it over, line it up with that little metal thing right there, and carefully squeeze it. And it snapped back together. <laughs> That's awesome. Take a look at that. We're making progress. I like it. I like it. Um, all right. So now I have to get the sides back on. Um, the right side, the left side. This is the right side. Let's see, there's a little hole right there. And put in there. And it looks like this snaps in or slides into right there. All right, and we have this piece, which is the left side, and it goes in there like that, and put the emergency key in, and if it snaps, we've got a repaired key fob. 
No way! Take a look at that! That's awesome! <laughs> so we went from this completely destroyed uh, key fob casing, but the motherboard still worked, to a brand new casing. I reused uh, my original buttons, so I got to retain my, my vehicle logo there. And uh, it looks like everything is in there the way it should. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Got to check it out real fast. So let's go out and see if we can at least uh, 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 lock the doors and unlock the doors. So let's go outside. Okay, so we're outside and I have the transplanted repaired key fob and we're in front of the vehicle here and we're going to see if it works. Let's go ahead and press the button. <laughs> let's check to see if the doors are locked. It beat. That's awesome. Now, if I've got the key fob in my hand for this um, and I walk up to the door and the doors are locked, the door will automatically unlock. So let me uh, lock the door right in front of the door. And you can see it doesn't unlock, but you just heard that double beep. So now it's unlocked. <laughs> it worked. Let's try it. Let's try all the buttons here, the lock. Let's see, I'll bring the, the light in front of it so you can see. The unlock. I can hear all the doors unlocked. Uh, let's try the, the trunk unlock. Okay, that worked. And let's try the panic button. <laughs> it worked the transplant worked everything worked it's perfect and you know what it didn't cost me five hundred dollars to do so let me tell you what i spent a little bit of my time researching online and i found this aftermarket uh manufacturer that builds these key fobs and who knows maybe they're the same manufacturer that sells it to uh the dealerships uh, and the manufacturers of the vehicles um but uh I didn't pay 500. You know how much this thing cost? $11 with free shipping. <laughs> Eat that dealership. I didn't pay $500. I paid $11 and I repaired the key fob myself. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you have a vehicle like this or you have a broken key fob, uh, but the motherboard still works and you're trying to do a repair, uh, just take some time, do some research. Uh, you don't have to spend your hard earned money to get a brand new key fob uh, with a brand new motherboard when your motherboard works in your old key fob and your plastic case is just broken. Just do some research, look online. Uh, maybe you gamble, you spend $11 or so and it doesn't fit, but maybe you spend the $11 or so and it does fit and you get a repair just like I just did. So again, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, uh, share it with somebody that you know that has one of these vehicles. I'm not saying their name because they're not sponsoring this video, uh, but you can see the logo. You know what type of vehicle that is. So um, uh, uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for uh, joining me in this uh, kind of a, a nail-biting experience for me because I honestly didn't know if this was going to work or if it was going to fit. It looked like it, but you know, you never know until you start taking things apart and you try to do the repair. So it worked. Thanks for watching. Watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. May the force be with you.